What is your take on the fact that in maybe a few months we're going to have the Cuban flag flying over Washington DC and the American flag flying over Havana? What's your take on that? Obviously it's very unfortunate. I'm not pleased as many in our state and around the country I'm sure are not pleased by it. Uh, Cuba is a communist country and there's been no justice for those who have suffered and continue to suffer and unfortunately many heroes on the ground in Cuba have received more beatings and more oppression since the announcement of the normalization, not less. And so obviously I'm, I'm opposed. To so if you were, if you, hypothetically, if you were a U.S. A senator now when you had to vote on it, you would vote against uh, 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 an actual ambassador, anyone who was appointed by the president, uh, to Cuba? Absolutely. I would vote against sending an ambassador to the United States of America to a country that should be on the state sponsor of terrorist list and a country that is a communist country. Would you vote for or vote against them? Well, I need somebody to explain this because what I don't understand is how we, the United States of America, can negotiate with a country that is a terrorist country, considered a terrorist country by the Obama administration and Secretary Kerry. They are state sponsors of terrorism. And we've now just agreed to give them a nuclear bomb, give them a signing bonus of over $100 billion, and not securing the release of four American hostages that they continue to hold. So I would not vote for, for that deal, and I don't think anybody should. It's a bad deal for the safety and security of our country and our world. And furthermore, there was no recognition of something that is very reasonable, that Iran should recognize Israel's right to exist. There was, that's a reasonable request that was not included in the deal. Do you support Mark, Senator Marco Rubio's assertion that Iran does have American blood on, it, on their hands? Absolutely. And as far as Israel, do you, you had mentioned Israel, uh, what are you taking? Obviously this is left on Israel, I mean they're pretty much left alone to, to deal with this. Do you think a preemptive strike on Israel is something that would be supported uh, by, gov uh, by, by Americans or would you support a preemptive strike? Israel has to do what's best for them and they continue to do so. They are a very humane people and all they're doing is defending themselves and defending their families and their children of their country, which they have every right to. So. I stand with Israel, not with Iran. So you wouldn't support a preemptive strike if they, if they feel it deemed important for them to strike at these nuclear facilities? I would support whatever Israel thinks is in their best interest for their future to secure the future of the families who live in Israel. I mean, you're talking about a country that is now, because of the United States of America, being given the opportunity to have a nuclear weapon, the same country that calls for wiping Israel off the face of the earth. Those two things, that equation is a very, very bad thing. And you being Hispanic, what is your take on Donald Trump's recent statement? Do you think uh, you know, it was a slip of the tongue? What do you think of his statements? And what do you think of the, 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 the backlash he's received in the press and from other uh, politicos? Well, I was here with my family today to announce my candidacy for the right. United States Senate. I'm happy to talk about any policy matters that you'd like. Uh, what is your take on these sanctuary cities? Well, the problem with the immigration system is a failure on the part of the Obama administration and President Obama himself. He promised during his first campaign that in his first year, in his first term, he would solve this problem. Well, we haven't seen any solving this problem. Should I be fortunate enough to be elected United States Senator, I would think that any solution, any policy has to start with a secure border. We now know that a comprehensive plan is not tenable in the United States Congress, and we need to start with a secure border and ensuring that the border is secure. But what how do you feel about these sanctuary cities? That we are a country that is based on the rule of law. And if a city is breaking the law, then they should be held accountable. And, and that's what I believe. I mean, we, we are a country of laws.